Hey guys, and welcome to my YouTube channel. So today, I will be teaching you how to duplicate and edit a frame in Clip Studio Animation. Let's begin. So I'm gonna go to frame one, and I'm gonna draw a triangle. Now, I'm gonna go to frame two. Let's create a brand new frame in two, and I'm gonna draw a circle. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to frame three, and I'm going to create another cell in frame three. Now, what I want to do is to duplicate the contents in frame one into frame three. So normally, this is what we would do. Go to frame one, right click, hit copy, move on to frame three, right click, hit paste. It works, right? However, when we want to make any adjustments to frame three, it'll also affect frame one. So say for example, I wanted to rotate this drawing in frame three. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna rotate this drawing automatically. It also, the, the picture in frame one will also be affected. In the same way, if I wanted to draw in frame three, it'll also affect the drawing in frame one. So in order to resolve this, what we're gonna do, let's go back a page, let's remove frame three. So what we have is frame one and frame two. So say for example, we wanted to duplicate frame one. What we need to do is to move on to the right-hand side of the toolbar where, we, where we've got frame one. Right-click and hit duplicate layer. Frame one has now been duplicated, however, it has been called frame one A because the A indicates it has been duplicated. So what we're gonna do, frame A, which has been created. Now let's go to the timeline. So what we're gonna do in the timeline, we wanna duplicate frame A into layer three. So let's hit frame three. And then what we're gonna have to do is to hit on this button that says assign cell to frame. Once that is clicked on, a box opens. In that box, you can see frame one, frame one A, which has been duplicated and frame two. So let's go to frame one A and let's click okay. Immediately, it has been duplicated. Now, if we wanna make any adjustments to the drawings in frame three, you find out it won't affect the drawings in um, frame one. So let's say I wanted to draw an X here. Yeah. I've drawn, I've made the adjustments and it has not affected frame one. Easy peasy. Now, say for example, we wanted to kind of like rename all the cells in a way we would understand. Simply go to animation, edit track and scroll down to rename in timeline order. Hit that and automatically all your cells, all your frames have been renamed into frame one, frame two, frame three. That's it. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. All right. Thanks. Take care. Bye.